Hello, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'm going to be creating some fish in my sketchbook and I'm just going to be painting these with gouache. So whilst I share the process with you, I thought that I would talk about a topic that I see talked about quite a lot in the art world and I think we all struggle with it sometimes, especially with comparison and trying to make what we create good and perfect. I think some of the perfectionism in art can come from wanting to make the most of our art materials. There's definitely some that are more expensive than others. And especially when I started with gouache, for example, I was really aware of the cost of these tiny tubes of paint. And so I definitely felt like when I started my art career, it was more of a problem. And now I definitely feel like I Although I do compare a lot and get stuck into that comparison trap sometimes, I don't feel like I have the perfectionism in my art. I tend to just create. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that battle of perfectionism and share some ideas and tips for how to try and overcome it. So like I mentioned with materials, I think one of the things that really helped me was to use a sketchbook that was really cheap. I have done a video comparing some brands of sketchbooks and I compared some higher end ones with some more affordable ones, including the one that I'm using today, which is the Royal Talons. Because this is an affordable sketchbook and the paper isn't too thick, it's, it feels like I don't have to be precious in it. And in turn, it means I don't need every page to be perfect. With my Etcher sketchbook, I definitely fall into that trap a bit more because I know how expensive that one was. And so using these more cheap and affordable sketchbooks in an everyday sort of use means that I'm not too worried. So I think using cheaper art supplies is definitely a good way to build up your confidence and so you're not going to worry about it having to be perfect or trying to make use of the more expensive art materials in like a way that you deem as good. And I do think that creating a sketchbook in general has been really important in turning off that perfectionism and that perfectionist mindset. I used to not create as much as I do now, and obviously when I was doing my daily art challenge, I was creating more and more. And I think just creating a lot and filling your sketchbook makes a big difference. When I work outside of my sketchbook on bigger pieces of paper, I definitely feel like it has to be better or it's a final piece and so I have to make sure it's good. So I think it's easy to fall into that trap there. So that's why I love sketchbooks so much because they definitely feel less risk. And so if you don't use a sketchbook or if you're struggling to fill it, then I definitely recommend trying it and giving it a go and just drawing loads of things like from your everyday life. I do have a video again, I'll link it up in the cards for ideas for how to fill your sketchbook. But I think just creating all of the time, doing my daily art challenge was a really big turning point for me and I've done two of those now and just creating every day and forcing myself to do it sometimes because you know we don't always feel inspired definitely helped because you don't have the choice to like not do it because you want it to be perfect. If you can really commit to a daily art challenge even if it is 10 minutes a day it helps you to just get something on the paper and slowly I think that perfectionism will fade away. And I also think that it's important to just accept that you will make bad art. And actually the bad art is really, really important in our practice as artists. The bad art leads to good things. So even if you do something that you really dislike, there's going to be something in there that was good. Maybe you liked a specific colour combination, or maybe you learnt that this material doesn't go with this material. But even if it's bad, there'll be something that, even subconsciously, you'll have taken from it because you created. And so those mistakes would then lead into a piece later down the line. And you might not even realise, but because you created that piece however many months ago, it will actually feed into your work later on. And I do think that that's how our creative brains work. So even if you do create something bad and you feel like that it's no use and what's the point because it's not perfect, changing your mindset on that and thinking about it as being like a journey and everything leading into one another can really help with that. And our mistakes are really just learning. So even if they're 
like you've created a page that you absolutely hate. I really do think that it all stems into our creative practice. So it's kind of like just embracing that. And the more art you create and the more you do, the better artist that you're going to become and you're going to really silence that thought in your head about perfectionism. And in turn, I think just embracing the creativity and the play and the experiment is really important as well. I think, again, that's why I love to work in a sketchbook because it feels like a really safe place for me. And for me, it's at this size, perhaps you prefer to work bigger, maybe you prefer to play on canvases, but whatever it is, I definitely think that you should lean into that. I think art is all about play and that's where a lot of my excitement for creativity comes from and whether that's playing with mark making or trying different supplies or how you can mix this with that material or maybe it's trying out new subjects and things like that. Whatever excites you, go with that and explore that and really play with it because art should be fun. I really don't think it should be super serious. I think that the more you have fun, the more it shows in your work. And I think if you have fun and you're really enjoying it, then that little part in your brain that thinks it should be good gets silenced even more. And so it's not as much of an issue. And obviously the more that you create and the more that you're having fun, the more you feel like this is why I'm creating. It's not to create good art, it's just to have a good time. And it's about the process and the enjoyment there. And I find art is really mindful for me. So it's more about the act of creating rather than the finished result. So the other thing that I find really helped me with turning off that perfectionism mindset was to use timers because again I'm not thinking about the end result because I know I only have say 10 minutes to create something and so I just want to enjoy it and just it really helps to turn off my brain in thinking this has to be good because all I'm thinking is, oh, I want to get this done in 10 minutes and this is going to be a really fun challenge. So again, it's bringing in the play from that element of just having fun. I prefer quick timers, but perhaps you find that difficult, but I've been doing it for so long now. I find it's still a really fun challenge for me and it's one that I always recommend because it really does help you switch off your brain and to just have fun with what you're creating. So I definitely recommend giving it a go and you will get quicker as you go along as well. And then lastly, I think pushing out of your comfort zone and it can be really hard, it's not an easy thing to do, but I think that perfectionism is impossible when you come to it or come to something as a beginner. So if you're pushing out of your comfort zone and trying something new for the first time, you can't be perfect at it. You're going to be bad. You're going to start from knowing nothing. And so you have to accept that that's in your mindset that you're a beginner. So it's okay to be bad. And I use that in quotes because I don't really believe that's a thing. But I think changing your mindset to just have fun and enjoy it and pushing out your comfort zone to try new things is a big part of that. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and seeing these fish come to life. I hope that the chat was helpful and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. I'll see you next Sunday for my new video. See you later. Thank you.